we all know women file for majority of the divorces. We all know women uh, and the majority of relationships. They're the ones who suddenly surprise you with saying, I'm not happy and want to kill everything. We all know uh, women are recipients of two thirds of the antidepressant uh, medications and uh, they're on the f amongst the fastest uh, group in the West uh, of uh, alcoholics who, uh, who uh, resort to wine uh, and disguise it as social drinking, but they are really dependent on it and need to have it every day. But why do they do that? Why do women uh, most often end relationships and want to uh, kill everything and uh, selfishly pursue their own uh, elusive happiness, which they rarely ever find? Actually, the answer is quite simple. Uh, to their defense, women are, are ruled by their emotions and a lot of the things that they do, they can't help. They honestly cannot help. They, um, they cannot help, they have this dream in their head from a young age that, uh, you know, is this ideal life of their, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, um, white knight in shining armor, the prince that comes and, and sweeps them away and takes them into this castle on a hill with the, you know, happy dreamy life that they uh, dreamed about. And then they also, uh, in, the, in the current days, they, they see these uh, images in social media, in, before in the magazines, but now in social media and everywhere, of other women that uh, only show the very best part of their, of their life, which is uh, hardly uh, reflective of the real life they're having. But just the same, these women see, the, see only the best parts with all the bad parts and unpleasant parts cut out. And they see, well, look, she's having a great, fantastic life. She's on a deck of a yacht, you know, uh, sunbathing while I'm here, uh, you know, with this loser guy uh, wasting my, my time. Maybe I should just divorce him and upend everything and go find the, the, my knight in shining armor who has a yacht in the, in the French Riviera. They rarely find it. We all know that rarely happens. They go from, from what they have to something much worse. Because now, usually, they're older and uh, they have all the baggage and all the things that come with uh, aging and uh, their, uh, their options are, are according. Their options are according to what they look like and what their present situation is. But go try explaining that to them. Now, uh, in, I've touched on this before countless times in the West, uh, think about it. Do not, do not underestimate economics. Do not un underestimate the power of that economics have. I mean, a woman who is in a in, in a so-so marriage in another country where these uh, divorce laws uh, don't exist, and the man she is married to does not have the resources that's going to support her for the rest of her life, is much more uh, unlikely to just wake up one day and say, I'm not happy and want to end the relationship and be on the street, as opposed to someone who's got a husband who's uh, making $200,000 a month, and she suddenly says, uh, I'm not happy, I want a divorce. She knows, like Tiger Woods' wife, regardless of what he did, she knows that she's going to be set for the rest of her life. She just has to make one call to the lawyer, and the lawyer will call the man, and uh, we'll, uh, he'll say, well, your wife wants a divorce and you're not allowed to call her. And from now on, anything you have to say, you have to, you'll say to me. That's it. End of the story. The man's life has just been destroyed permanently. Point of this video, and there's always a point, is when there's a big question mark in your head as to why, why is it always most of often women that want to end relationship? Yes, men also, you know, uh, while in a relationship, stray and have little affairs and everything, but they rare, rarely want to upend everything unless she really does something drastic, you know. But with women, they just have to be, quote unquote, I'm not happy. That's it. They don't have to have any reason. They don't, they don't need any more justification. They just say, well, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have the very best in life. I deserve to have a, a younger, more wealthy guy that, that takes me around the world and does this and that and that for me. And, and, you know, we know they rarely, rarely are happy. 
most of them most of them end up alone i mean again use the example of tiger woods she doesn't have any significant other person in in, in her life you know she's she's alone she's she's living alone in some mansion in sweden because it's elusive because this thing that they're pursuing does not exist but just the same they do it they do end the relationship so what is the solution for you as a man what can you do well you must understand that truth shall make you free. If you understand that they are subject to their emotions, they cannot help it, that they are by nature unstable and unpredictable, then you act accordingly. You uh, don't put your heart and soul and everything else in it. Do not rely on that rock that you think is a mountain when in fact it's a bubble. It's a bubble that can change shape at any moment. When you know that in the back of your head, then you're not completely shell-shocked when one day she says, I'm not happy. You know that it's possible, just like getting on a plane. You know that it's possible that there could be an engine failure and something happens. You're not totally, completely shocked. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Same thing with the dealing with a woman. No matter what she says, no matter how much she says that she's devoted to you and you're you're the soulmate and you're the man she's been looking for all her life and everything. Know that in a, in a matter of hours, 24 hours, that can change. You know, women are notorious for doing that. They change. You know, they change in both ways. They change in ways sometimes when they say, I never want to see you again. You disgust me and then they're with you again the next day. And also it changes when they say, I want to spend the rest of my life with you and they change their mind the next day. All the best on this last day of 2021. Uh, hoping for a lot better days uh, in the coming years and much less of this BS we all have to deal with. Happy New Year to all of you. Health and happiness. And remember, you can only rely on yourself and then you'll never be disappointed. All the best.